To say I'm worried about Assassin's Creed Shadows and the Assassin's Creed series in general is an understatement. In a lot of ways, the series has changed for the worse over the years, and I need to talk about that. When it comes to the parkour in AC Shadows, it still looks to me like it's going to be a much more dumbed down and less refined mechanic than it was in some of the older games. AC Shadows is being developed by Ubisoft Quebec, the same studio that made Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and that in itself is another worry to me. Now, I'm gonna go in depth on all of these reasons why, but the format today is going to be a little bit Bit different. I, the Exile, along with fellow content creator Willis Makes Movies, have started a brand new podcast focused on everything we love and hate about Assassin's Creed. Episode 1 is out right now, and it's a place to voice our thoughts and have a discussion in much more depth than we could do in a short form video like this. In the first episode, which is out right now, we asked the question, is Assassin's Creed cooked in 2025? I'm about to play you guys here a segment from that episode. If you do enjoy it and want to see the full thing, then head over to The Podacy. That's the name of our podcast. It's linked in the description and I will leave it as an end card at the end of this video. Any support you guys bring our way is much appreciated. If you can like, subscribe, comment your thoughts on the episode, again, much appreciated. We want to make this the Assassin's Creed podcast. There's not really many out there at the moment, so I feel like we're in a Goldilocks zone of Assassin's Creed content. I don't know. Anyway, again, all support is appreciated and enjoy the segment. Yeah, I mean, parkour, again, to me, it looks a bit gimmicky with the flips and stuff. It, mm. it, it, it looks like they're trying to dress up a bad parkour system and they're trying to say, look, you know, we've, we've done something with the parkour that's what you've been asking for for ages. But it's like, well, no, because it looks to me that it's just a rehash of Valhalla and Mirage's style of uh, a gameplay mechanic for parkour but now she just yeah. does a few flips every now and then she can jump a little bit further and again the uh the rope swing thing it, to me the rope swing is there because they know that the uh parkour mechanic itself is very limited and isn't any different mm. so they've added something new to try and disguise the facts that the parkour's are uh, it's shit. <laughs> like art <laughs> that was very that was very well said Oh, wow. I think <laughs> Thank you. it's trying to create the illusion that parkour is like faster and has these new elements to it when really it's just it's just covering up. I mean, I think the rope swing is going to work really well in the game because it's been designed for this game and the parkour yeah. so clearly hasn't. If they were going to fix the parkour, they would have done it in Mirage when the whole selling point of that game was we're going back to basics, we're going to make parkour and stealth the focus. Yeah. I can't believe they removed social stealth because Mirage brought it back and did, like, I would say I know, a good job with it. I know. I think the mechanic in Mirage was decent. I don't think there was enough chance to use the social stealth in Mirage, in the world at least, but mm. as a mechanic, it was fairly well optimized, I guess you could say, for the game. But yeah, like, going mm. back to Shadows, I'm there with you. Like, why have they removed it? Yeah, I know they want to focus more on traditional stealth rather than social stealth. It was back when Ubisoft were the innovators of the uh, gaming industry. Yeah. They would create these new cyst game mechanics that no game had attempted before. But now, they, you know, they opt for the more traditional gameplay routes that they they know are safe bets, I suppose. They just seem to keep getting rid of the things I want in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I'm just thinking of, like, the trailer for the first game. Like, it's Altair. He's out in the open. He's walking through a crowd. And then he kills a dude and runs away. I bet you can't even all... do that in Shadows. What we've seen in Shadows so far, it's all, you know, countryside or small village sort of gameplay. Oh, now, don't. Now, I, I have a little bit of a theory here. And I could, obviously I might be wrong. And I, I really hope to God that I am wrong. But I just okay. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a single city in shadows. Uh, I just uh, grabbed my heart. I mean, okay, they don't have the little beams sticking out. They don't have the upturned carts. There's clearly not much. Like I think the the parkour modding community are gonna struggle with shadows. I think uh, they are. But the I idea think, yeah. that there isn't any like verticality and it's all horizontal. I made a video about about why horse gameplay is not the most uh, engaging gameplay to the point where they let yeah. you edit it. <laughs> you talked about <laughs> you talked about horse gameplay and I did like a little laugh thing with my mouth 
and it completely imitated what a horse does. I just did that without <laughs> realizing. I hear horse, I become one. Have you played Ghost of Tsushima? I haven't, you know that. I don't want to, because oh, then I feel okay. like my opinion on Shadows will plummet even further. Ghost of Tsushima is, yeah, it has, like, well, I, I, granted, I haven't finished the game and there's a huge part of the map I haven't visited, but so far, I'm about, I'm probably about 15 hours into the game. There okay. are small villages, but they're more like encampments, you know, just camps of people, um, not really even villages. Like, it's it's a very countryside focused uh, open world. And I think Ubisoft are going to go for that same approach with Shadows. But does it work well, in Ghost of Shishima? It, it does because it's that type of game. Um, mm. but, but it's not an Assassin's Creed game, you know, in Assassin's Creed. Oh, of course, yeah. Assassin's Creed, in my opinion, works best in, you know, in an urban setting, uh, at least based off of, um, you know, the core pillars of what originally made Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah, it has the so, best opportunities. But, yeah, but obviously we know that Ubisoft try to rip off well, uh, popular games that have sold well, such as The Witcher 3, mm. you know, with, with Odyssey's dialogue system and Valhalla's uh, yeah. and the way the format of the way it played. Um, so they're probably gonna, they've probably taken many leafs out of, uh, the, uh, Ghost of Tsushima's book. I don't think they'll do it as well, uh, but I think they will. And, and that leads again into my theory that there aren't actually going to be any like fully fledged, uh, like cities within shadows. There's going to be no, no real need for parkour. I bet you could probably play a whole playthrough of shadows without any, I, I'm going to say meaningful parkour without any proper cha chains of parkour, anything like that. I think you'll probably use it to get on top of, you know, platforms to hide from your enemies. But I don't think there'll really be any parkour, you know, such as jumping from rooftop to rooftop or, or anything like that, really. But I could I could be wrong. But I think I think you're right because of Yasuke. He can't do parkour. Yeah. Therefore, the whole game has to well, be playable without parkour can he can he not do any parkour have they said that or is he just kind of rubbish at it well you know that you know that uh that clip of him doing the bad leap of faith yeah he is like on top of a building there so he has to at least be able to get one story high <laughs> yeah do you think he's like but a I'm ladder not... he can climb oh i bet that's it i bet he can climb he just ladders. climbs a ladder yeah that's oh, it no but yeah, the whole game has to be playable as Yasuke, so I would presume that you're not missing anything if you just... I mean, God, what a what a sad playthrough that's going to be. Just, if <laughs> yeah. you play as Yasuke, oh. you can't parkour and you can't stealth. Like, you're missing... You're not playing Assassin's of... Creed. Yeah, like, what What else... What is the other pillar of Assassin's Creed? It's stealth, parkour, and... I think the last main point I'm going to say, to be fair, leading into what we just said is... I think Shadows personally will probably, at least to me, not be very good because I don't think you can make a game revolving around two completely different play styles, you know, and try to appeal to two different mm. types of players in the same game because that's what you touched upon is a perfect example. You've got to be able to play the game with no parkour or at least minimal parkour and at least minimal stealth because of the fact that you should be able to play the whole game as Yasuke. So then the world design and level design, you know, is going to be probably stripped down so that you could so so that it can accommodate Yasuke's play style as well. Um, meaning is stealth even going to be worth it, you know, needed uh, and there's probably going to be no real need for parkour, you know? I'm sure there's probably ladders everywhere. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it, or maybe there well, isn't. So. I don't know. It's just... I just don't... I think Ubisoft needs to stop trying to appeal to too many people, and they need to focus in on one style of gameplay. And look, you know, if that's going to be no no stealth, no parkour, and it's going to be just a combat-heavy thing, then make a new IP focused on the warriors of history. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I... Yeah. Do you think they have rolled back on the fantasy stuff, or do you think they're hiding it? I would not put it past Ubisoft to fill the game with some sort of fantasy. I mean, look at Valhalla, mm. you know, and even look at Mirage. I know it was a... 
it was very subtle um, way of representing Basim's, uh, you know, true self and his past, but it was still it oh, still used yeah, yeah. fantasy like elements with the genie or the gin in marketing and yeah. stuff. I just I feel like Ubisoft can't help themselves. I think you could. Th- there was even an enemy in Mirage that had a flaming sword. Yeah, I think it was yeah. explains that he dipped it in oil. But it's like, come on, like you ha- they always have to have some sort of fantasy element. It's like they're it's like they're to- too terrified to to not they're do itching it. To do so, it. yeah, it's like it's like they really it's almost like they really hate their own franchise and they really wish they could just make a new fantasy franchise about fantasy warriors in history, but they just can't. But the thing is, they could just do that. Just end Assassin's Creed. I would say on a high note, on a sour note, <laughs> at this point, mm, yeah. end it at where you end it where you've where you you know you've kind of done what you've done. End it there and make a new IP where you can do whatever you want and you can you can make that series foundations about warriors in history with fancy elements and then that's fine because that's a new IP and you can make it whatever you want. But they just they have to latch onto Assassin's Creed, I guess, because it makes them money. But, you know... It's the most recognisable franchise. Yeah, but the thing is, back in the day, Prince of Persia was one of the most recognisable franchises, but they saw the the opportunity to make a new IP, which was Assassin's Creed. And if they just stuck... If they were too scared to try something new and they just stuck with Prince of Persia, then we'd never have had Assassin's Creed. So, I I don't know. Yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah, I never even thought about it like that. Like... The success of Assassin's Creed was dependent on piggybacking off of a different franchise. Exactly. That seems it to be was what originally... they tried to do here, but they can't let go. 